Uh, felt good. Um, body felt good, just trying to get back to that game speed in the first, and I think as the game went on, felt uh, a lot better out there. I mean, it sounded like a tough injury neck whiplash. Like, what was the biggest challenge coming off it? Just wanted to make sure I was ready to go. I didn't want to come back too early. Um, you know, there's a lot of hockey left in the rest of uh, this year for us. I think we want to go a long way. And so I just wanted to make sure I could play at my, my top top speed and just kind of feel good out there. So we want to be careful. So what was the feel like today with Alex and Ryan on that line? Oh, it, it was fun. I had fun with Alex. Uh, no, but no, sorry. But having those guys out there with them and watch them make plays, and it's good to see Ryan back with us. And um, yeah, I'm excited to play with these guys uh, potentially next game. Any baked in chemistry there with Ryan coming off uh, some of those? Uh, yeah, I mean, we played, I think, a couple of games maybe, shifts together, and he knows what I'm going to bring. and. I know what he's gonna, how he's gonna play. So I think it'll be easy for all of us to read off each other, and uh, I think it'll, I think it'll be good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, always going back there, special. I mean, you got family. Um, went to school in New England. Um, just yeah, and special place in my heart there, and uh, it's a fun place to play. You were and what they've been able to put together this year. Is it surprising at all just how proficient they've been from start to finish? No, like I said, like that core, they've been doing it for a while there, and um, you know, it's a special group, and uh, we just got to find a way on just to kind of crack that code there. I think he's, you know, in the offensive zone, defensive zone, he plays the same way, he plays hard, he's skilled, like gets to the dirty areas and then can make a really nice play. Like he's, he's got everything. He's a great two-way centerman and uh, a great leader. For you, the transition to a new team, a new city, a family here, like, I mean, where are you at with the life side of things? Uh, I think things started to slow down a bit. The family came and joined, um, you know, just kind of getting everything settled with the kids and, uh, you know, getting our just kind of bearings around the city. Uh, but we went and checked out the CN Tower, the aquarium, and so, we're getting, we're getting acclimated. Yeah, love it. Yeah, it was really cool. We went the other day for the first time, and my kids loved it. And going in that little tunnel with the fish around, it was great. Yeah, I don't know. It was great. It's obviously nice to be recognized. I think that the guys on the team do a good job of kind of passing the belt throughout the lineup. And um, I don't know. I don't know if I was fully deserving of it last night. Reese had a couple big goals. Waller played great, but um, it's it's nice to kind of show recognition up and down the lineup. Zach said, thank God he didn't get it. He doesn't like giving a speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your message? I, team? I did not give a good speech. <laughs> um, but, no, I don't know. I think it's just moving on to the next game and trying to keep keep, build, keep building. Who gave you that? Like, had it, right? It was last oh, was it? I, Johnny gave it out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What was the feel today with those two guys, Nolan and Ryan? It's great. I mean, I've been playing with Cookie quite a bit since he got here. like playing with him. Um, yeah, he does everything the right way, wins a lot of puck battles in, in the right spots a lot of the time. Um, so I know what he's going to do out there, and um, Ryan's the same way. I mean, he's really good at both ends of the ice, good in a lot of different areas, wins face-offs. You get the puck a lot when you play with him, and, and he's uh, he's a threat in a lot of different ways. What sort of impact does he make on the lineup? Ryan O'Reilly's in. How different is the dynamic for you guys? Yeah, well, I mean, he brings a, a, a little bit of a swagger to our team, I think. He's has that experience. He's won a cup. He's won a con Smythe. He's been there before, done it. And I think that that just adds a certain element to your group that you can't really put into words. So I think having him back and really kind of completes our lineup and makes, makes us a, an even tougher team to defend against. Had a long layoff. Like, what are you noticing about him? And you don't see much rust. Mm -hmm. You know, Sheldon says he's a guy who just does it the, the yeah, same yeah. way every time. Like, what do you see from him considering the layoff? Uh, not much. I mean, he, his game, he's so consistent in his habits and and in how he plays that he he really looks the same all the time. And that's like a credit to who he is as a player and and how consistent he's been for a long time. But he's one of those guys that doesn't really need time to ramp up he doesn't really have inconsistencies in his game and so for us that's great because coming down the stretch there's not too many games left before playoffs but he knows what he needs to do he knows what he brings and 
he does it every single night. When the, sorry, to that end, how do you view the, the game against Boston or the challenge against a team like that at this time of the year? Well, they're the best team in the league right now. They're the measuring stick for everyone. They're on pace to break NHL records this year, so it's as, as big of a test as it's going to be, and we only play them one more time until and until we go into playoffs and, and play against Tampa. So it's our last chance to see them, and we want to have a good performance. What's the building like? like? How would you describe what it's like to play in the TD Garden when they're a good team? Yeah, it's great. I mean, you, you like to play in those hostile environments, and that's really as hostile as it gets. So it's fun playing in those atmospheres, and I'm sure a game against the Leafs, they'll be amped up for it. What does most about Boston, Alex, when you consider their game and, and what makes them successful? I think just the consistency. Like, they haven't had any lapses throughout the whole year. You, you get teams throughout the league that have hot stretches, that win 10 in a row or go through months at a time where they're playing good hockey. But these guys have sustained it for an 82-game season. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm going to play, which is nice. So yeah, hopefully no setbacks between now and tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, it feels great. Yeah, I uh, practiced today fully. Um, yeah, didn't even notice it. It was just kind of into a full thing. So it feels great. feel 100%. And, uh, yeah, it'll be nice to kind of get back into it. Got five games kind of tune up here and, and get ready for playoffs. But uh, I'm excited to be back. Obviously a bonus for you, Ryan, to be able to see your name dropping a league issue or anything like that. So I would assume the league's feel pretty good here or not yeah, it's actually great too, and obviously the development team they have here, the skills coaches, and um, you know working with the team, just skating. You know, I feel great. Um, you know, I think it's helped a lot just to be able to do that. And yeah, it's uh, yeah for a while there wasn't handling pucks, but still, yeah, like you said, be able to work on my skating and, and stay in shape and everything. So it's um, yeah, it's been great that way. How difficult was it from a mental standpoint, Ryan? You get here, you're all excited about the trade, you just get going, and then out of the lineup for a month. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, you know, first happened was obviously extremely frustrating, you know, I didn't know how long I'd be out, but um, yeah, it could have been worse, you know, it could have been, you know, missed playoffs and stuff and such, but um, yeah, you know, I think be able to come back, at least get a few games in before it, you know, I gotta look at the positive side of it, but um, yeah, I'm just excited that uh, I'm back now. Skating between Alex and Noel, kind of what sort of potential do you see for that group? You know, I think it's good. I think it's going to be great. Uh, you know, we all know how good Boston is. It's going to be a good challenge for us. And I think we got to lead the way in the sense of being a hard, you know, hard line to play against, make it difficult on those guys. What sort of baked-in chemistry do you have with Noel from St. Louis? Yeah, well, we played together, you know, a few times there. Um, you know, penalty kill together and stuff. We know each other very well, so um, you know, I think it's nice. We know kind of what he brings to the table. You know, his intensity, his work ethic, every shift, his physicality. You know, I think that's um, you know something we want to bring. You know, as a line, he's used that. You know, be physical. You know, be a good full checking line and create create a goal from that. Kerfoot. Yeah, gosh, you know, Footy is you know, obviously a great skater, his speed and such, but really smart out there. I think. You know, again, I think we want to establish to be good forechecking, hard to play against, and build our, you know, offensive play from that. But um, you know, obviously, a really good player. I think we can create a lot together. How do you view Boston's season? Yeah, well, you know, Boston's been, you know, as you know, the best team in hockey. You can see obviously the results and the points they have and, and such. And you know, I think it's a good uh, test and a good first game for myself. You know, going in, going right to the, you know, the fire here. But um, you know, they, you know, they play a smart game. You know, they work. They're detailed. It's uh, it's gonna be a great challenge for us. Is there something that stands out most to you? You can say to the villains and what makes them so proficient. Um, yeah, it's, well, just I think you know, you know, some once this year played against them earlier in the year, and obviously you, you see them play, see the highlights of the team. You know, they're, they're a consistent team. You know, it's like they don't deviate. You know, they stick to their structure, and you know, they're consistent with it. And I think that's you know, a good lesson for ourselves, and it'd be good playing them to. It's going to be a tight game. It's going to be tight checking. It's going to be physical. It's uh, yeah. It's going to have that kind of playoff feel to it. What's the feel? I guess we saw a little bit of work there on the power play at the end. So like, what's the feel in the middle of that group? Oh, I think it's good. You know, I, I've been on you know before earlier in the year with them. Um, yeah, it's a, you know, I like it. I think it's good. It's nice to kind of just get a few reps in there. But um, you know, it's a good unit. I think uh, you know, obviously, depending on the time we get, you know, we have to be uh, more of a direct unit, shoot the puck, and, and kind of win battles and, and go from there. So you said you didn't feel the finger uh, today. Like, did, did, are you gonna have to do anything different? Like, I see it maybe tied together, or like a special glove, or is there anything different? Yeah, it's just it's just like a buddy taped and such, just right. to kind of you know keep it with that, keep the you know keep the you know flexion with it. But um, yeah, you know, didn't feel it's anything. You know, anything stick battles and such. Um, yeah, it feels 100 percent, and yeah, hopefully uh, stays that way. Face off. Uh, question mark at all? Or do you no, feel good? no, I feel yeah, I feel good. Did, uh, okay. did some yesterday. I felt great, and you know, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you get a full load of face-offs tomorrow, but uh, you know, they're feeling good and I expect to. In your short time here, yeah, you fit pretty well with anyone you play with, but how have you found finding kind of a rhythm with different guys? 
Um, well, yeah, I guess so. I haven't really, like you said, played a ton. Um, you know, I think one of the good things about being able to, um, well, one of the good things, you know, I enjoyed about being out was to give them to take a step back and just see, kind of watch everyone in detail, see how they play, see the things, you know, they more understand their games more. So I think that kind of helps going forward here. But, yeah, I think it's a great, you know, there's great depth here, you know, the smarts and how guys work. I think it makes it easy to kind of jump in and play with anyone, really. Who nicknamed you the factor, like, the first time? Oh, this, <laughs> uh, this is way back in Colorado. I think it was, I think it was, it was either Paul Stassi or uh, John Michael Lyles. I think uh, that was when uh, the, the O'Reilly Factor, the TV show, was out there, and so they just started calling me the Factor, and just kind of stuck. That's nice. <laughs> what, what, what do you do out there? Why are you out there so late? You're the last guy out there for practice. Uh, I'm just, uh, well, I'm trying to find it. You know, obviously, I've been playing much, trying to get there, just get my touches in. Um, yeah, you know, I think that's important. You got to use the time you have to kind of tweak things and get ready. So it's just, uh, you know, that's why you just try to stay out there a bit and kind of tweak my game any way I can. How long does it take you to find the just touch for the puck again to sharpen it to where you want it? Um, yeah, I think, well, you know, come off the injury, um, you know, it's, it's tough. Like, you know, doing even the practices and such, it's tough to replicate a game, you know, just the timing. And, you know, hopefully I can find it as quick as, you know, I want to. But, um, yeah, just, you know, seeing the speed of the game and, and you know, the physicality and, and such and be able to, maneuver around that you know it's just it'll take just game playing in the game and feeling it out but you know obviously working with the team here and and, and such you know my hands feel great my feet feel great just incorporating that now into the games well we, we just wanted to get him in center which is uh first thing so there's that and then i just like the other lines the way they've been so that's a natural fit but uh obviously with O'Reilly in that spot there, he's going to have a lot of defensive utility. So playing him with, with players that can defend really well uh, makes the line better. So yeah, I, I just think there's really good elements there. We've gotten a lot out of the camp line. I think there's another line here now that we can, I believe, will be able to add to, to the depth of our team in terms of matchups and stuff that we can just roll over the boards and play fast and, and uh, make it tough on the opposition. And with our opponent tomorrow, we're going to certainly need that type of depth. Alex talked about uh, Ryan bringing a swagger into the lineup when he comes in. Like, mm -hmm. what's your sense of the impact he makes beyond the game? Yeah, I think we've talked about this before. He's just he's got that presence about him. Uh, super confident in who he is and and what he's accomplished and what he's been through. How he knows, you know, that he needs to play and doesn't. Like I said this before, he he doesn't take anything too serious uh, in terms of he just goes with the flow and lets lets things roll off his back. Yet is extremely focused and extremely committed. And I think that's such a delicate balance that very few players can can have and can master. I certainly believe he's done that. How do you view the game tomorrow against a team like Boston and what it means for the group at this point? <laughs> Well, I, I mean, in terms of what it means, I, I don't think you can get too worked up about that. Um, but what I'd say is it's not, it's nice to have uh, a game like this uh, at this uh, stage of the schedule that's going to demand the best out of you. Um, you know, they're going to challenge you. Uh, and, you know, like I said, it's hard to see big picture what it might mean. But uh, anytime you play Boston, you're, you're in for a tough night. I mean, that's why they've been one of the best teams in the history of the league because of the level of consistency that they bring to every game. So you have to be at your best or you're going to be in real tough. As the group sits to an ankle, the forward and D, Sheldon, is it uh, what you're thinking for game one? I know we have five big games to get through in another week or so, but are you starting to put those thoughts together as to how you might want to look for game well, one? Well, I think, I think if you look at how we've, how we've played really over the last few weeks, it's framework's in place for a lot of what you're seeing uh, tomorrow night. So certainly we've had an eye towards that. But in terms of how it shakes out in between, you know, who uh, who ends up being in the lineup on defense, whether we play six or seven of them, uh, how the forwards shake out now that you have O'Reilly back in and you're going to get a, a, a better feel once again of how he impacts the group. Now we haven't had him play very much at all where he's been sort of in that third uh, center spot. Uh, so we'll get a uh, feel for that. Um, 
And then, you know, we'll make decisions from there. We'll see where everybody's game's at, see where our health is at. But uh, obviously we've been building towards something like this, so it's it's not too far away. And, and, you know, we've got a lot of, you know, obviously there's the D pairs of focus, but there's pairs on forward as well that, you know, whether it's one player here or there, I think there's a, some very subtle adjustments that can change our look as well. So I like how it's set up that way. Can Marner do that for Tavares? Do you want five on five? I'm um, sorry. Yeah. Marner do that for Tavares five on five. Yeah, he brings he brings he brings a lot to it, obviously. And and I thought that line was terrific. Watching it back last night, I thought they were really really good. Didn't didn't get anything to go in the net, but they had the puck the entire game and weren't in our end very much at all. Which really uh, that's what you're looking to see, and they'll be challenged even greater tomorrow night. But yeah, it's just the way the lines are set up there, you know, whether it's Marner moving around or uh, Riley moving around. Uh, you, I can make one or two very subtle changes and and still have the framework look the same, but but give us a little more punch here and there. Is it about not necessarily about choosing between loading up your top two lines or depth, but having the option to go kind of either way, <coughs> depending on where you put really yeah. playing is kind of the yeah kind of yeah exactly. That I think that that's important. We have to be flexible. We have to adjust to that. Whether it's certain situations in a game or you know if you. Uh, if the opponent's presenting something that you know uh, you want to counter, then I think we need to be set up that way. But we've you know, we tried to keep the camp line intact here for quite a while. Obviously, the Matthews and Jurgen Kruk, uh chemistry is something that we tried and and has gone really well. So we think that's opened up some doors for us. But uh, whether it's Matthews and Bunting or JT and Willie, like we've got some real pairs there, and the the, the structure of our lineup, I think, is. Is uh, in place, and it's just a matter of moving uh, one or two things around here or there, depending on the situation. Have you had enough of Ryan in, in, with enough combinations to have a really solid comfort level as to where he fits, depending on where you put him? I mean, I, I'm comfortable with what I've learned is wherever I have put him, he's done really well. Um, center, uh, spot on wing. He didn't spend much time with Matthews. Um, but that was something that I was wanting to, to work through and, and actually started to give him a couple of shifts there in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And they were two very dominant shifts and looked like it looked like it was going to flip the game for us in Vancouver. And then and then he got hurt. Mm -hmm. um, so that was something we wanted to look at there and, and maybe we'll uh, look at it again. But uh, I, yeah, I think his flexibility, versatility, his willingness to you know, I talked to him again today. He's you know, whatever, whatever you need. He's moved around and played different positions and different roles. He can be a facilitator and make plays and keep the puck moving. And then he's got great defensive utility at the same time. So he's a guy you want to get a lot out of. When Austin is playing with uh, Kelly and Michael, so he doesn't have Mitch or Owen there, does that how much? What does that do for him? How does it change the dynamic uh, for him? I think he's going to have the puck a lot more. He's going to drive drive things a lot more himself. I thought he did a really good job of that last night. Um, you know, I think uh, it's 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 going to be on the wingers to, to do a little more work, obviously, to get him the puck and, and to earn pucks back and to, to stay involved and stay engaged. Last night was a difficult game to really assess in terms of what any of the lines might look like. Um, and certainly tomorrow will give us a better indication of what it looks like against you know, an elite opponent with great depth, and there's not going to be very many easy matchups. But um, you know, I believe Austin has the ability to do that. But like I've talked about here, whether it's Mitch or Willie, it's it's an easy switch to to you know move things around there if we need to. I mean, you've coached a lot of championships in your past, but have you seen the team as consistent as the Bruins are start to finish? <clears throat> no, I don't know if I have. Frankly, it's it's been. It's just been impressive to watch, you know, to see the, the way the, the players have just done it night in, night out, and the coaches have have uh, kept things moving and, and keep the guys on board there. And yeah, it's been it's been really impressive. I mean, they maybe could host the NHL awards in their building this year. You know, it's it's uh, to me they they should be cleaning up. It's been so impressive all the way through their group and what they've done. They're, you know, they're. So far away from the pack is is uh, impressive. In terms of where your lines will match up, how much do John's current dry spell at five on five, basically through the month of, of March and, and current, how much does that factor into how you look at where everybody else fits? In? Yeah, it's 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 part of it. You know, we want to see uh, what Mitch's presence there can do. Obviously, Mitch and, and John have done really well together. Um, you know, I'm I'm not as focused on John's 
five on five production uh, in terms of offense necessarily. I, I believe that that will come. John's had a lot of these types of, of uh, dry spells, if you want to call it that. He has continued to be very productive on the power play, which is great. And to me, he's been really focused on his defensive play. Uh, you know, he and his line had a real tough night against Detroit, but you know, take that one out. I think he's done a really nice job defensively, and that's that to me is equally as important uh, to make sure that that's there. That hasn't always been the case with John. He's really made some adjustments over the last few seasons to be a much better defensive player. But uh, certainly, we know he has the ability to score, and I believe that he will. He's a very streaky guy, you know, like a lot of scorers are. Um, there's a reason why you know, there's not many 80 goal scorers out there. Um, and, and uh, you know, once one or two go in, I think, you know, the confidence starts to come and, and pucks start to fall your way. But it, I'm most concerned with that his consistency, shift to shift, and having good habits and setting our, our team up for success, had that, making, sure, making sure that that's in place. And, and I really think he's done a good job of adhering to that.